Okay, we are now down to muscles that move the knee joint. So the muscles that move the knee joint, they are going to be crossing the knee joint and have action at the knee joint. Remember the knee joint, we are basically going to be talking about flexion and extension. So we're going to start with the extenders of the knee joint, and those are the quads. So for you, all you have to know is the extenders of the knee are the quads. How many quads do we have? Four. Quad is four. So let's get rid of, remember that's your sartorius. We're going to get rid of sartorius. So here are your what? What's the action of these guys? These are your adductors, right? And these are going to be your, your um, knee extenders, your quads. So let's just start from the most lateral. Here's lateral, here's medial. This one on the lateral side, guess its name. Fastus lateralis. And let's add them all together. And then here we have our rectus femoris. Remember we talked about rectus femoris before, has a hip flexor. It's the only quad muscle that crosses two joints. It crosses the hip joint and the knee joint, so it's going to have action at the hip and knee. The rest of the quad muscles do not cross that hip joint. And then we're going to have vastus medialis, the medial muscle. And if we fade, oh, let's fade fade these guys. If you fade them, this guy deep to them, deep to uh, rectus femoris is going to be vastus um, intermedius. So let's do one muscle at a time. Let's just go back. Oops, how do I do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me stop and figure this out. Okay. Let's get back. <laughs> get rid of Sartorius again. Let's get rid of Sartorius. And let's just look at the vastus lateralis. Let's isolate this guy out. So its origin is up here by the, the greater trochanter. So it is not um, crossing the hip joint. And remember, all the quad muscles are inserting into the tendon here, the quad tendon that's going into the patella, and then we're going to have the patellar ligament that's taking all the quad muscles essentially to um, the tibial tuberosity. So this is the tibial tuberosity is where all the quad muscles are ultimately inserting, so they're going to be pulling the tibia from here. So that's why you have such a big tibial tuberosity because all the quad muscles are inserting right here. So that's the vastus lateralis, only crosses the knee joint. We've done the rectus femoris. It's inserting up, up here on the pelvis, so it's cross, crossing the hip joint and the knee joint. So it's having hip flexion and knee extension. Then if we do the vastus medialis on the medial side, we see it does not cross the hip um, joint either. It's inserting up here on the femur and it is also, its origin is up here on the femur, excuse me, and it is also inserting down in the tibial tuberosity via uh, the patella ligament. They're not showing it here, but all the quads insert via um, um, tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. And the last quad muscle, those were three, is going to be deep to the rectus femoris. So if we hide the rectus femoris, here is vastus intermedius. If we isolate him. We see he also does not cross the hip joint. His origin is up here on the femur. And like all the other quads, he is inserting on the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. So those are your four quad muscles. 
So as far as you guys need to know, the quad muscles all do knee extension. The rectus femoris crosses two joints, so it's having action at the hip joint also, hip flexion. And they are all inserting into the tibial tuberosity via the patellar ligament. So these are the knee extenders. So if these are knee extenders, where would we expect to find knee flexors? The opposite action. So they're going to be on the back side. And guess what they are? The flexors are going to be your three hammies. Remember this guy? Your BFF, your biceps femoris on your fibula side, fibula la, biceps femoris next to biceps femoris is semitendinosus and deep to semitendinosus is semimembranosus. So all your hammies are also knee, knee flexors. Knee flexors. What else do the, all the hammies do? They all cross the hip joint, remember? All the hamstrings um, are inserting on the, let's get rid of this guy. They are all inserting on the ischial tuberosity up on the pelvic region. So they are crossing the hip joint too. So these guys are also hip extenders. They're crossing two joints the hip joint and the knee joint. So just remember your hammies cross two joints. And they have action at the hip, hip extension, and knee flexion. And you also had some other um, muscles that we've already talked about that are going to be bending or flexing the knee. Remember sartorius? It crosses... It crosses the knee. It's also going to be bending the knee. So it's it's a um, knee knee flexor also. And gracilis. Gracilis was one of your adductors, but it's also crossing the knee joint. So it's going to have an additional ac action of knee flexion. Not very strong, but it is in that grouping. They're all crossing the knee joint. So you would say these guys in the front, well, these guys in the front, these are your knee, ex, knee extenders, right? The quads. These guys in the back are your knee flexors plus gracilis and sartorius. So hopefully those aren't too bad. You've already learned them. Um, learn them on, on learn these muscles elsewhere so uh, most of these muscles elsewhere so not too bad big muscles easy to see on your model and pretty easy to see on the cadaver so we'll be looking at these on the cadaver too so next we're going to be looking at the lower limb muscles